You know, we have a tendency to, and no offense to all those partners, to pick on each other, right? If, uh, if the federal government would just get stuff done, if Congress would just pass some legislation, if the, if the state would pay attention to these issues, if local government, if developers, Dale, if you would just go about this a little differently, and Bob, if you'd be a little bit more positive, this would all get figured out. I'm talking about Bob Feinberg. Then, but what we don't do, is we don't thank each other for leading, innovating, caring, working, and uh, trying to create these partnerships. And there's uh, someone who I couldn't quite get here today because my timing is poor. But a woman who really, in many ways, against all odds, uh, stepped out of the agricultural community um, with, and remained an advocate and still runs one of the most successful ranching operations in the state, but begin to talk about water conservation and management, and livestock management, and agricultural production, well before many of us were outwardly, I mean, quietly we were doing it, but outwardly really talking about our own responsibilities to talk about a different way to do things. Because if we don't do that, even if we had all the water in the world, it's irresponsible not to do it. And the truth is, we don't have all the water in the world. The world doesn't have sufficient, fresh, clean um, water. And so as a resource, uh, we have to be much better stewards. So uh, for those of you who know Trudy Healy from Taos, she's been an inspiration to many folks and has been identified as an incredible expert, which really she did on her own. And so I wanted to recognize her today, and I do that by creating a congressional record. And what that means is this statement that I asked the House to recognize will forever be in the archives of Congress, recognizing that we have real talent here and that we are all inspired by that talent. And so I'm going to read the congressional record, and to accept the congressional record is Trudy's daughter, uh, Felice Knox, and she's going to come up here. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to hand it right over. Come on up. All right, are you ready? You, you can, let's see, yeah, I'll get everybody up here. Why not? You have to come back up here anyway, Karen. <laughs> But I put my glasses on because being a member of Congress has made me blind. <laughs> All right. So everyone, and you heard the great question about having effective education that doesn't seem to be at cross purposes. Uh, and so it's great. So this congressional record says, uh, it's uh, from the proceedings and debates of the 113th Congress. It's a statement honoring Trudy Healy. And it says, uh, we did it Thursday, September 18th. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor Trudy Healy, a woman of remarkable talents who has an unwavering commitment to preserving water quality in our great state of New Mexico. From an early age, Trudy proved to be curious and passionate about her surroundings. She was gifted with a virtuous heart and immersed herself in every aspect of her community in Taos, New Mexico. Her mother, Mercedes Gonzalez Valerio, was her trusted friend and confidant who Trudy loved dearly. Trudy would tell others that her creativity stemmed from her mother, who surrounded herself with artists, instilling in her daughter a deep appreciation for art. Her father was Juan I. Valerio, a two-term county commissioner for Taos, and a well-respected man who was revered for his generosity and his service to his community. He, was also, he also proudly served as the acequia, mayodormo, or ditch boss, and he taught his daughter how to farm, irrigate, appreciate water, and recognize the vitality it brings to a community. Trudy would carry these values with her throughout her entire life. You doing okay? It's heavy. It's heavier than it looks. All right. Trudy and her husband, Edmund Healy, would go on to found the Healy Foundation to focus on land and water issues and projects that promote healthy New Mexico communities. Through their foundation, Trudy and Edmund have built partnerships with local, state, and federal entities to generate funding for land and water projects in New Mexico and invested in courses at New Mexico State University for regulators and inspectors. They also contributed to the film The Water Haulers, spurring swift approval of the Navajo Gallup Water Project in Congress. The project helped make clean water available to more than 240,000 residents. 
In 2001, Governor Bill Richardson appointed Trudy to the Water Trust Board and was elected its treasurer. Her involvement had an immediate effect. As the proud founder of the Asakia Project Fund for the Water Trust Fund, Trudy championed a holistic approach to water issues and fought to ensure the prosperity of underrepresented rural communities in New Mexico. Trudy understands the connection between water and people, what it means for survival, economic livelihood, and cultural heritage. It is astonishing to think of all that Trudy has accomplished and fulfilled in her life. A horseback rider, successful art gallery owner and connoisseur, folk singer, guitar player, film writer, avid rancher, passionate water advocate, loving mother, and proud wife, to name a few. Her zest for life is endless, and if you talk to anyone who knows her, they would tell you that water is her true passion. I look forward to continuing to work with Trudy on the important water issues facing our state and country, and would like to take this moment to recognize all that she has done for New Mexico. Thank you. Please tell your mom congratulations. Thank you so much, and to your team for getting this together. And as you guys can tell, I have some pretty big shoes to walk in. Um, water has been at our table, and obviously throughout our lives, and it's very important. And she has definitely taught my brother and I that you have to be doers in this world, not just talkers. And so I'm out here trying to become that and be a doer as much as she is so that we can build these things that all of you are talking about and find the funding where there is funding. It's just knowing how to get the funding and changing some mindsets. So we really appreciate, this is just amazing. I'm so proud to be for, for your mom. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.